90% of people do not achieve their goals. In this video, I'll give you 3 steps for setting goals that should increase your chances of following through on your commitments and achieving your goals using Notion. Before we dive in, you can head over to the video description to download the template and follow along. To get started, we will go all the way down and open up the backend toggle. We will click to open the goal setting workbook. So what I like to do before setting goals is to assess the different areas of my life. So I've listed down some common areas of life such as finances and health and fitness and so on. So you can rename any of these areas or domains of life as per your roles and responsibilities. So if I'm a student, I can rename career to school. Or if I'm a business owner, I can rename this to business. And you can also add or remove any of the areas of life that make sense to you. So what we want to do next is to rate ourselves from a scale of 1 to 10 how satisfied we are in these areas of life. So just fill in the value that first comes to mind. So once that is done, we can actually create a wheels of life chart, which I will just embed a quick example. So the tutorial for this chart will be linked in the description below. Depending on your rules and what you find most important, you still have the final say in deciding what you want to focus on for the coming year. So you can just click on the checkbox to mark as the focus for the year. This can be helpful in helping me get started with thinking of what goals that I want to set for myself. Thinking about health and fitness, I want to set a goal to run a half marathon. And I will assign it under the relevant area which is health and fitness and I can put a due date to it. So if it's an annual goal, I can just put it as the last date of the year. When I know the specific half marathon date, I can actually put that as the due date. And if I open up the page, I can then see the number of days left I have from today to the due date. So once we have set the goal for ourselves, we can move on to think about the key results. So key results is something that are taken from the OKRs framework. So this helps us to be able to measure our progress towards our goal. So this might not apply to all our goals, but we can add key results for whatever goals have metrics. So for running a half marathon, one key result that I'm thinking of is my max distance for a run. So I will first add a group and click on the goal. So under this toggle, I can add all the key results relevant to this goal. So there can be more than one key results. So I'll just add a new key result called max distance. And the target will be the distance of a half marathon, which is 21 kilometers. And my current longest distance was probably around 9 kilometers. And my current value will still be the same as my starting value. The key result could be my 10 kilometer run time. Target value for a 10 kilometer run could be 50. And my starting value could be 60 minutes. And my current again will be the same as my starting for now. So once I make progress on any of these key results, I can just update the current value. And you can see the progress bar starts to update itself. Once we have thought of all the key results that we can use to measure our progress, it's time to break down this goal into steps that bring ourselves closer to our goals. So we'll be using this task database. We will first click on add a group and select the goal that we want to add a task for. And similarly, under this toggle, we can add all the tasks that can help us get closer to this goal. So this could be something like signing up for a marathon, planning a running schedule, and also perhaps joining a running club. But over time, you can continue to add more tasks that can help you make progress towards this goal. And you can just open up the goals page and go to the task database view, click on plus new to add any new tasks to this goal. You can repeat this process for other goals that you want to set for yourself and then identify the key results for this goal and then breaking it down into small steps that you can take day by day. So back on the goal tracker page, this is where we can have an overview of the goals that we are working on as well as our current progress on each of these key results. And with that, I wish you all the best in achieving your goals.